Yo, 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 what is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? I'm back with another series, a daily video. It is going to be the card of the day. Of course, I'm probably going to mix a little bit of astrology into this because I can't help it. So, <laughs> so, but yes, we have the card of the day and um, it's going to just be a new series that I do. It's just going to be a daily thing. Going to be little short videos, you know, to give you guys a little bit of insight, give you guys a little bit of lift off to start your day. I have this cool little uh, avatar I kind of created here. And this is just going to be a temporary placeholder. Um, I'm probably going to end up making another avatar but this is just going to be my placeholder for the moment. So, but yes, this is going to be the card of the day. Like I said, I probably will mix a little bit of astrology into this because I can't really help it. So, what is the card of the day? Well, today we have the chariot card. And it's in reversed. Yes, we have the chariot card in reverse. So, yes, this card definitely can speak to, you know, getting up on our horse, finding the courage to move forward. To feel like we can succeed in our endeavors, but with it being in reverse, it could definitely bring some challenges. And I think the main challenges that are coming with this, it's interesting because this is the card of Cancer. But, you know, we don't really have any energies in Cancer right now. Um, we do have the Sun, of course, it's going to be moving into Cancer in about 10 days or so. And then we also have Venus, which is heading to that spot. But this card in reverse today, you know, you may not be feeling as confident to move forward to certain endeavors. You may feel like you need to seek a little bit more shelter, seek a little bit more comfort in things that are more familiar or familial. Um, but this is also speaking, you know, with the reverse card that we can't be afraid to move outside our comfort zone today. We can't be afraid to go into some new endeavors, into some new, some new places. I think part of the reason why we may be feeling that is because we do have the planet Mars that has shifted into Taurus. And of course, you know, the moon, which, you know, is exalted in Taurus, and of course the moon does rule Cancer, you know, it's in Leo. But this Mars in Taurus is giving this sort of energy where it's like, you know what, when it comes to building, because Taurus is all about building, you know, things are going to take time. This is not going, this is not the fast, quick, impulsive Mars like it was in Aries. And even then, with Chiron at the North Node and eclipses, it wasn't exactly as impulsive as it wanted to be. Now that it's in Taurus, it kind of got to the party late. You know, the Sun moved out, Mercury moved out, Jupiter moved out. They're all in Gemini. So it's kind of late to the party. And I think that's probably why we're kind of feeling this chariot reversal kind of energy because maybe we feel like we're late to the party. Maybe we feel like we are lagging behind and maybe we're not feeling as confident that we can move out and go out into the world and kind of leave the safety of our home, leave the safety of that familial abode that has, you know, you might have used it as your nest. You know, this Mars and Taurus, I think, is going to be teaching us, as much as I hate this word, how to manifest and how to appreciate the process, the entirety of the process, and not feel like we have to rush into things. This moon in Leo today, of course, is wanting to bring some passion, some excitement, and the sun is still in Gemini. And, you know, Venus is coming off of that major Kazemi that it had to the sun. So, you know, the sun Gemini is still wanting things to be open and curious and exploring with the moon and Leo definitely is going to want to bring out some of those passions. But of course, with this chariot card in reverse, as I said, we may not necessarily be feeling as confident that we can move out into the world and have the victory and the successes that we want to see. But this is about the long game. And I think today is going to be a day that reminds us that this is about the long game and no success is going to be achieved overnight. Things take time to develop, and that is A-OK. -okay. So that's what I got for you guys for the card of the day. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I trust that this message will assist you on your journey today. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.